Hello everyone, Code Theorem here, and we're back to show you guys a little bit about HTTP service, specifically uh, post async. Not really going to test it, but I'm going to show you guys how to properly use it. I'm going to show you, excuse me, I'm going to show you uh, JSON encode and JSON decode. So let's start first um, by figuring out, well, what is post? I show. I told you guys. Sorry. Um, I told you guys what post and get were yesterday. Yesterday's video, part two. I've got to stop doing that. <laughs> I've got. I had my watch here, and I was just kind of tinkering with it with my hands, and it made noise. Yeah. So I already went over post and get a little bit with you guys. I told you guys post is a little bit more sly, a little bit slicker, a little bit safer for some things. And the reason we still use get, um, even if post is better in most other regards, such as security and safety and stuff like that. So today I'm going to show you guys a little bit about get, or er, not get, <laughs> not get, post, okay? So we're gonna get rid of this data thing and we're just gonna go like that. In fact, I, we could get rid of the URL. We're just gonna put in HTTP www some website dot something slash home. Okay? Something really simple, what the hell? No, like that. Okay, and we're gonna get rid of this URL thing. Okay, we're still gonna keep, and we don't even need saliva. Well, yeah, we do. No, we don't. <laughs> I can't decide. Let's just get rid of everything. Let's start basically from scratch. Okay. So we're going to worry about JSON encoding things. So let's just make a fake URL, local URL. I know I just did this, but get over it, okay? Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. <laughs> Okay, I had to keep saying that while I typed that. Local URL, and then we're going to take the local URL and we're going to send data to it. It's not actually going to send any data to anything, and I'm kind of afraid to send anything there because I'm not sure if it's real, but okay. Um, we're going to send data to it. So, how do you send data? What, what do you do? Well, you use this special kind of table that doesn't use numbers to index things. Well, it can, but it doesn't it uses strings as indexes. So we're going to call this local data equals. And now inside here, we're going to put in awesome equals code theorem. Um, amazing equals YouTube. I think I'm doing this wrong because it's telling me I am. Is it supposed to be that way? No. <laughs> What's it telling me I'm doing wrong? Oh. Should would that fix it? No. What's it what's wrong? Why you know tell <laughs> it's not telling me what I'm doing wrong. Hmm. Okay. Closing bracket expected to close opening bracket and line four near the equal sign. Well, it's right there. It's right there. I must be doing something syntactically wrong. Oh, I think I know the problem. Uh, not like that. There we go. Okay, you need to put the string in quotation marks. Now it doesn't have to be a string as the index. It can literally be any kind of object in those brackets, okay? And then you just put an equal sign and then any kind of object or value after it. So awesome equals code theorem, amazing equals YouTube, and then let's put in a array inside of this. So table equals another table, and inside here we're going to put entree yes like it's food equals turkey um, appetizer equals 
mozzarella sticks. I don't know. I'm probably going to spell mozzarella sticks wrong. Who cares? And we got to do this right. You can't eat the entree. Uh, you can't eat uh, the entree first. You can't put it first. You guys know what comes before an entree, right? Come on. You got to know this. That's right, dessert comes first. And our dessert is going to be a bacon sundae with hot fudge and bacon and hot sauce and strawberry ice cream. <laughs> Sounds delicious, right? Yes. Um, there we go. Remember, you gotta put commas after each of these, like I did, okay? So you gotta eat dessert first, then your entree, then your appetizer. Everybody knows that, though. No need to clarify. Okay, so we're just going to go down, and now what we're going to do is we're going to print data. Okay, let's, let's just print data. Let's just run this here. Table 171EED38. I'm not gonna go into too much of an explanation as to what it's doing, but it's saying, okay, it's of the type table. And then that one seven thing after that, that's the pointer name in your random access memory. I'm not going into too much detail, but it's a pointer, okay? It points to where it is, the value. Um, so if that's what's getting, so if we did an HTTP, here, where is it? HTTP um, post async, and we put in URL, then we put in data, and I think there's a third one. Why did I close the help window, guys? Why, why did I do that? Uh, application and content type. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff. If you guys are web developers, you can go look in the wiki as to what the different content types there are. But I'm going to assume you guys aren't all web developers. And therefore, I'm not going to tell you guys about that. Because that's just going to make your brains explode. Um... So we'll just put in data. And by the way, that third parameter was optional. You don't have to put it in. It already assumes it's going to be JSON. Right. Yeah. So post async URL data. So if we're sending off to a URL, we're sending this data, and we're getting table something, that's not going to work at all. It's just the, the whole thing is going to break. Okay. We need to send it a string. More specifically, we need to send it a JSON string. So what is a JSON string? Well, I can tell you it's not your friend Jason. It's not Jason who goes around with a hockey mask and um, weapons killing people. It's not the Jason from down to the street. It's not anybody else, okay? It's not the Jason, my friend Jason, I blame everything bad on, which you guys should do too, you guys. Blame everything bad that ever happens on Jason. I don't care if you know him, just do it. Anyway, um, so it's not Jason with an A, it's Jason. And Jason is spelled like this Jason. J S O N. I'm not going to tell you what the acronym means. Not because it'd make your brains explode, but because I don't know what it means. Okay? Um, I could tell you guys it's because it's some crazy long thing. I could tell you that Jason means something like. Jolly Susan once napped, but it that <laughs> that's not what it means. Okay, it's not. It obviously it means Jolly Susan once new new once new. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm I'm getting off track feeling kind of crazy today um what is json then json is a special kind of array thing that sent that servers and stuff can understand the data from so we're going to use json to send this so now what we're going to do is we're going to do data equals http json encode by the way guys http is just game.http service you could just as well do this it works just as well, but I prefer HTTP like that. JSON encode, and you just put in data, and it's going to spit back this JSON string, okay? And now, it's not going to let us test it here, um, because we're now doing that. Hold on. Let's, it, this, 
post thing's not even gonna work because that is a fake URL, so why even have it taking up time? I think I named the method wrong. <laughs> um, JSON, oh, all caps. All caps for JSON. My bad. It just looks better if it's lowercase, but. I didn't make the code. Roblox did. There we go. Okay, we got awesome code theorem. Amazing YouTube. Table. And then in table, we have appetizer, mozzarella sticks, entree, turkey, and dessert. Bacon sundae with hot fudge and bacon and hot sauce and strawberry ice cream. The best dessert ever. We probably should have put bananas in there. But it's too late now. So there you go. That is a JSON string. So take this. Okay. That is a JSON string. That is our data. It's the exact same data we gave it, except it's now in a JSON string. Um, so JSON in code, all that does is it takes a table like this. Yeah, you could even put regular numbers and stuff, and you didn't even have to put these tags. But it's kind of stupid if you do something like, here, I'll do it real quick. Data equals code theorem amazing pie okay if we if we do that it's gonna say code theorem amazing pie and that's your JSON string but that JSON strings really boring it doesn't say anything about the best dessert ever so we're gonna get rid of that okay JSON and code will take any kind of table of data or anything and it's going to put it into a JSON string which browsers and stuff can understand now what if you wanted to take JSON like you got JSON back from a server in which case we'll put this like um, got back equals and now imagine that that URL if you sent it this data would send back more JSON well it's kinda hard to understand JSON in Lua Lua doesn't really know JSON so how can you take JSON and understand it well you'd use um, you just do got back equals HTTP JSON decode um, got back but in this case we're just going to do data and then we're going to print data again and we're going to do this oops okay and we're going to do that again <laughs> um, so again it's just gonna put in table okay it's just gonna throw us table again why is it doing that because it's decoding it it's turning it back it is now once we've done that we've in, we've made it now we've encoded it pretend we've sent it off and then we got something back which would have been got back not data but for the sake of um, ex explaining things we're using data we literally just got back our exact same table it is back to how it was when we set it to this it's the exact same thing again because JSON encode converts it to JSON JSON decode converts it from JSON to something Lua understands typically a table okay hopefully I've explained everything well enough I know we haven't really used the post async but let me just cover this real quick post async takes two required variables and then it takes one more which is kind of useless that first variable is the URL you want to send data to. Yes, this URL actually could also take a GET request. We could throw on to this. If you guys remember from last episode, we could throw on uh, something or key equals value or something like that. It would still work. You can actually use POST to do a, both a GET and a POST, but it's kind of messy, especially on the web server side, so you don't really want to do that. So POST async URL, and then you can also do data. Okay, you gotta send it data, and that data should be JSON. You can change it with the third variable, kinda, but don't, don't. <laughs> keep it JSON, keep it simple, okay? JSON is simple, it's very universal, so keep it JSON. I know it might seem kinda scary, guys, but really it's not. It's really just this table, but it's getting encoded so that a web server can understand it, and it might spit JSON back at you, but if it does, just decode it. And then you can use it okay um, so thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys have enjoyed it hope you guys subscribe to code theorem and this channel code theorem Roblox I have a ton of great tutorials a little bit like this one bit less crazy maybe a bit shorter for most of them but they're still awesome so I hope you guys watch or like this video if you did please 
hit the like button gives me a ton of support shows me exactly what you guys are liking it helps me out a ton you guys can also comment that'd be great um, and I will catch you guys later